Okay, hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Bunny Says, and I wanted to uh, introduce you to this game. This game is called The Tunnel of Light. Now this has a uh, particular interest to me. Um, I've been looking at it for a while and checking it out, and I got it on sale, so I wanted to, uh, you know, give it a shot. It, it's, 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 it's a walking simulator mostly. Um, if you're not interested in that type of thing, there may be some interest to you in the the time period, in the the place, the setting, that type of thing. Now let me explain that. Uh, apparently, I haven't played this yet, so I have no idea. But from, from reading the description, it takes place in the 1930s in Italy, and a young girl, a I guess she's 16 or 17, is put into a an asylum, an insane asylum. <clears throat> for dubious reasons it sounded like um, so and this is her experience I guess and uh, so I thought that would be you know that would be a f that's a, a fascinating uh, study and seeing of what it's like and not only for that time period remember it's just pre-war 38 or so I think it was 1938 or 37 uh, so that's, you know, that's Mussolini, you know, uh, fascism is, you know, is at its peak. It's starting to rise. It's rising to its almost utmost peak here. <coughs> um, and there's a lot of, uh, and it's just pre-war, so it's, uh, the war, the war has just started. World War II is just starting at that point. Uh, in, uh, basically in China, Japan, they're just starting to fight there, and it's just going to blow over into, uh, uh, you know, Germany and Poland, and, uh, so, um, so this is a really interesting time frame, so I thought it would be interesting to see, uh, what it's like, and also, the, also, the architect, I'm also, also always interested in the architecture of these places, which is really interesting, so uh, I want to check it out. Now, there's one caveat. Um, I started trying to play this a, a few minutes ago with the uh, with the mouse and keyboard, <laughs> and it's working now. But it, it, it keeps on switching to the um, to the joystick, whether I ha uh, to my joystick, whether I have uh, the the keypad. Um, whether or not I have it plugged in, it'll suddenly say, press, you know, press X, <laughs> you know, I'm like, I can't press X, and it won't let me go, it won't let me move over and press the button or anything, so I have to use the, uh, the keypad, so I guess, it, it, it'll, it'll probably happen at some point, so let me start up a new game and see what's going on, now I think I, now these are the options, um, Man, there are a lot of options here. There's a lot of, uh, yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot going on here. <laughs> okay. But let's keep the, okay, let's just keep it as default and uh, let's start a new game. The Town of Light is based on real events, places, and research concerning mental illness and life of patients in the lunatic asylums from the beginning of the 20th century until their closure. It contains stories which may be disturbing, the characters and names are fictitious, and any reference to people living or dead is purely coincidental. This game uses an, an artistic interpretation of a former Italian psychiatric institution for dramatic purposes. Please note that mental health services have radically improved around the world. If you think you may have psychological problems, speak, please speak to a local doctor or specialist. Now, uh, just as a warning, this is a you know this is a game about a psychiatric uh, institution. So, uh, you know, if you have any problems with things like that, or you know, just just give me a warning ahead of time. And, you know, pl please, you know, take care of yourself. Don't, you know, don't watch these things if you don't need to. You know, you, you know, there's no reason you need to see this. You could skip it. You know. Why, watch something fun, you know, go watch my Minecraft or something like that, or go watch anything else.
Okay, Al Vol Volterra, 1942. What's so happened? that's the height of the war, World War Two. Is this place? <coughs> maybe, maybe I'm dead. I can't see any light. Maybe I am dead. I can't get up. What's going on? What's happening to me? There's no one here, but these noises. God, my head is killing me. I can't keep my eyes open. Reality fades away and my skin is gone. Every breath of wind is excruciatingly painful. I'll turn the volume up a tiny bit. In a second, if it sounded a little low to me. After this loads up. Okay. Inspired by real events. Volterra, Tuscany, 2016. Oh my god, this game is gorgeous. Wow, this is really beautiful looking. Let me see if I can turn the volume up a tiny bit. I remember it was really extremely high. It was like people were screaming and everything. It was disturbing, so. Okay, let's just... I guess. Oh, what's this? Yeah. Okay. What's this down the bottom here? Can I, can I change places? What's going on there down there bottom? A to open, close, use. Okay. If you don't know by now, I'm not particularly great with the uh, the controller, so please forgive me. I wonder if I can use the... I can use the mouse and keyboard. Okay. I'll use the mouse and keyboard for now until they tell me I have to switch. Okay. Ooh, there's a bit of a lag with the mouse and keyboard. That's weird. Hmm. Now this, you know, I mean, for the most part, this game is going to be mostly ambiance and, uh, oh, okay. Oh, okay, the round dot means you can do something. All right. Toggle flashlight, gotcha. It's going to be a lot of ambiance and, uh, mood, you know, I, I, I imagine. Close the door. Uh, okay, I guess not. Wish I made that dot a little bit bigger so you could see, so you could see stuff and tell what you're looking at. The little dot, the little tiny white dot in the very center there, is uh. When it turns bright a little bit, that means you could touch. That means you could do something. Anyway, let's just look around here. Walls peeling, pallets all over the place. Radio. See how the the dot is now. It's bright. Hmm. Radio. I used to have a radio like that actually. Well, not exactly like that, but sort of like that. Is there anything on the back? Can I see the back? Anything right on the back? No? Okay. Okay. Don't know 
I need a flashlight to be honest. What's this all about? Fresh food rationing improvements. On April 20th, bread rations increased by 50 grams per day. An extra kilogram per month of soup production products. Agricultural labor laborer treatment reform and extraordinary marmalade dis distribution. An extra kilogram per month. It's two pounds of soup per month. That's not a hell of a lot, is it? Fifty grams of bread, really. Incredible anti-aircraft victory. 159 aircraft shot down in 24 hours by the German Continental Air Defense. Major rushing uh, operation northwest of Jassy. Uh, enemy convoy scattered in the Mediterranean. Two destroyers and six merchant vessels sunk. I'm guessing this is a lot of pro some propaganda. Julius Julia K. Julia K. Distressed but held up held up by her faith. Her mother Irene E. Father Eric and sister Martha deliver the grievous news. The funeral will take place in La Romola. La. Uh, Romola on Sunday, April 16th at 3.30 p.m., starting from the house of the deceased, April 13th, 1944. Mm. Fierce murder in San uh, Casciano, April 14th, 1944. Julia K., a woman from a respectable family, is brutally murdered near her home. And then... Uh, Police are investigating possible political motive merge merges. Okay. All right. First murder is Julia K, a young woman from a special family, is brutally murdered. Okay, we're not over that. What on one side? Julia K, distressed but held up by her faith. Oh, Julia K. Distressed but held up by her faith. Oh, I thought it was Julia K. was distressed by her. Julia K. Distressed but held up by their faith. Her mother and I mean E. Father Eric and Sister Martha. Deliver the grievous news. Okay, alright. So Julia K. has been murdered. Apparently. Oh, the fridge opens. Anything in here? What in the food it looks like. No, nothing good. Now we're in the present time, so that's why I was wondering. I was like, well, I thought it was 1942, but remember it said 2016, so I guess we're traveling through this place through the past, you know, in the, from the future, looking through this place. I wonder if they could actually visit here. This would be sort of... Well, it wouldn't be interesting. It would be sad, but... I guess I can't go down. But, I mean, historically, you know, and architecturally, it would be interesting. <coughs> now, I know... Uh, I, I know a lot, uh, a lot of these asylums... Especially the very, very old ones like this were usually built on, uh, oh, see, so usually built on like a self sufficiency. I wonder if these move. Oh, wow, it does. Oh, no kidding. But they were usually built on sort of a self sufficient model where, because back then it was, say, it was built in like 1920, 1910, or something like that. Um, you know, other than like, they they would have they would have all their own stuff. You know, they were expected to. Uh, they would have their own dairy farm. They would have their own. Um, uh, they would have their own butcher and their own stuff like that. Because they're usually they were usually away from uh, areas. You know, they're usually away from whatever modern, whatever you know, from basically from the city. You know, they were sort of further out. You know, 
so they, they couldn't it was impractical for them to just you know they couldn't just go into town and grab some eggs or something like that uh bread or whatever they would so they would have their own bakery their own butchery they would have their own cow place their own pigs they would grow their own food at a little farm you know places like this look, i mean look at this you can see they have you know they would have stuff like this you know pots and plants they would grow flowers and for and the people would work there the people people would generally work there and they would do it you know in a nice way it was considered therapeutic and, and I, th I think it's good I mean I think it's a good idea to keep the help them out and things like that and it, and it, it wouldn't they weren't like it wasn't like forced labor or something they weren't you know, doing all kinds of crazy crap or at least you know most of the places it was just helpful to keep the place running but um and sometimes they would make some crafts, arts and crafts things that they would sell in town and get some extra money for the place and that type of thing. <clears throat> so, generally the places, the old places were considered, uh, were built on a, there's, there's a certain guy, he, um, he, he's very, a very humanist guy. He, he, he considered it to be a uh, um, it, it, like it, it, he considered it to be like a, a uh, like the people should be treated humanely, and that, and that the places should be a natural outgrowth of like the environment around them. So in other words, this 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 should be near nature. It, it'll help. For patients to be near nature and to uh, be in a calm, relaxing environment and that type of thing. So, he would try to make places sort of like, you know, it, it is naturalistic and uh, close to the places as uh, possible, like close to, you know, close to nature as possible. So, I want to get back there. How do I get back there? So it's interesting to see the, and it was it was built on old architectural design like that. So it's it's very interesting to see the old uh, design. It's, it's quite interesting actually. How do I get out there? Oh, I have to go around here. Okay, can I run? No, I can't. Okay, I have to go around. I guess here. But um. No, I can't. Can I? No, I can't. Okay, how do I get over there? Okay. Getting a little bit lost. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> here. Is there a hole in the wall or a fence or something? Or Could I sit? Oh, I can. It's very nice. Okay, get up. Um, are you supposed to trigger something? Or what's going on? Uh, okay. Oh, it must be down here. I guess it must be something down here. Otherwise, I'm just wondering. Right, this looks like a guy, like a greenhouse. Did I miss something? Uh, I was so busy talking, I wasn't looking at the little light. Yeah, I see they made their own, they have their own boots and stuff and. Okay, I'm gonna go out and go around. Like, yeah. 
that's um, oh okay yeah there's this place yeah okay okay let me pay attention to the little dot in the middle there <laughs> I must have missed something because otherwise I'm just wandering around so I don't know what I'm doing other than taking in the atmosphere here I'm wondering what this little shrine is that's what I'm wondering this looks really interesting I guess, I don't know, I mean, I, I don't know, let me look around and... I remember hitting something before and something happened. Anyway, at the very least, it's a very tranquil little walk. Must be in here, I guess. Oh, there's something. Oh, nothing. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Nothing, huh? Okay. Hmm. Must have missed it, I guess. I love the radio was sat next to it. Oh. Looks like cigarettes. Oh, I've got you. Here we go. What's this? Oh, is this the actual place? Wow, this is pretty interesting. Oh wow, I wonder if this is the actual place. This would be wow, this would be really stunning. Does it say anything? Does it say anything on the back? No, it's not letting me turn it around. No. Can I turn it around? No. Okay. It's beautiful buildings, beautiful architecture, you know, it's like really nice. These places are usually pretty built, the early ones are built fairly nicely, you know, they're like they had, they had like a grand design to them usually, a fairly nice design to them. You have to remember they also weren't also, they weren't always built for um, uh, uh, mentally uh, insane patients or also they were they were also built as um, you know places for uh, people who are sick who are very sick usually people with tuberculosis and things like that so it wasn't wasn't just housing like insane people, it's housing people who were gravely sick as well. Oh, is that all? <laughs> That's all I had to do <laughs> all that time. Oh. Interesting. I don't like that. I don't like that icon, but. Ton of light. I imagine the name, the ton of light, is like ironic, but I wonder if there's a specific specific reason why it's called the ton of light.
just regular bread, so no wrong. This place. Time. Memory. So this was the woman that was here before, I guess. Just wanna look over here for a minute. Oh, this is that stairway down, huh? Oh, this is that place in the picture. That was, yeah. Wow, how different it looks now. What a shame. You could have a nice building like this, you could fix it up and turn it into something like a hospital or something nice, you know, like. Charcot. Or Charcot. I don't know. Okay, well, I'm going to keep this, uh, these files to a half hour, so before we head inside, we had enough talk there and had a nice look around. I'm going to stop here, a tiny bit early, and we're going to enter Charcot and, or Charcot and see what's going on. Look at the windows, they're all bricked up and everything. So we'll do that next time. So uh, I hope you enjoy this journey. I hope it's meditative a little bit, peaceful. I want to try to keep it that way. And uh, I hope it's not too, you know, depressing or anything. So uh, I hope you join me again. I, this this looks interesting. This to me this is interesting. So I want to see it. So I hope it seems interesting to you too as well. Uh, this is Bunny Says. Thank you for joining me. And I hope you join me again for the next episode. So goodbye for now.